Our favorite movie buffs from Red Moon Podcast are back with us this week to talk about the latest Hollywood hit that's sprinting up the ranks to number one at the box office. What? Brandon Davidson and Keith Cheatham are joining me this morning to talk about a spiky hedgehog that's capturing the world by storm. Welcome back. What? Yeah. Yes. It yeah, is. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of surprising, but yeah. yeah kind it's, of surprising? It's, it's opening weekend. It was number one. And then over this past week, I mean, it's been two weekends in a row, number one at the box office. And it was it was a shocker for, for me, too, I think, for all of us. I think it um, was because early just knowing production woes that hit it and also just... I mean, it, it's a video game movie, and we know that a lot of times video game adapted movies don't are, do... They don't do well, yeah. and even... Or, well, they do the well in the box office, but they don't do critically. great. Critically. I mean, critically. I have to say, just watching the actual preview, I mean... Yes. So, what's the one where... Okay, remind me the name of the actor we're seeing right there. James Marsden. Mar with the Easter Bunny... Oh, um, uh, hop. hop! Yes, hop. he was yes. in Hop. Okay. Yes, that, I, mean, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot he did I that. I fell in yeah. love with that movie, but also okay. it. Uh, Again, yes, it's a, it, it's, it's the a thing stretch. about this to take away from is it's a family film, and it is something that a lot of kids know Sonic the character. Mm -hmm. Right. It's no, it's no mystery as to why they made this film to put it on the big screen because it would attract a lot of kids. I, I think and it's families. more shocking that it, it found an audience in more one. than just kids. It is yeah, actually very one. entertaining. I was pleasantly shocked. I went in not expecting much. Uh, Jim Carrey was was hilarious. I felt. Um, and is, and who is Jim Carrey in the movie? He plays Doctor Robotnik. Dr. He's, Robotnik. The, he's the yeah. villain. Um, even Sonic, I thought was spot on. I was pleasantly surprised. I went in thinking, you know, it would just be an okay movie for children, and actually came out very entertained. How and many, I think a lot of people are finding that. I mean, yeah. I love that though when we watch a children's movie and then find out, oh, as adults, we really well, I mean, that's like been this. a big hit with the Pixar movies. I mean, yes. Onward's coming out here in a few weeks, and that's one we're probably going to be checking out and reviewing. They got oh, mm -hmm. Soul later on in the in the year. And so everybody's kind of, it's like Pixar's now to the point where they're releasing two a year. I mean, it's no, obviously everybody knows that these films, these animated films are huge hits. So to bring this character into the big screen, knowing the following it already has, and for it to do well is not so surprising, but that it's actually a good movie is, is surprising. <laughs> I'm going to take your word for it. I mean, you haven't stared me wrong and our viewers, I, I think, yet. But so when it comes to family-friendly, and I mean definitely all about family-friendly, mm -hmm. if I'm going to take the time to watch a movie, want to include my daughter if I can, yeah. but is this... What's the age range that you two would you would suggest? I mean, it, it's it's very clean. It's it's very PG. Yep. I mean, I think pretty much all ages I think could watch it. Um, there's there's nothing it in there that's really fun. scary. There's no language. Um, I mean, there may be very mild language, like maybe here or there, well, but I nothing. Think the nothing. Overall, too, uh, question is with the message and the overarching themes, mm -hmm. and it that's fits. also very family friendly. Yes. All right, yes. number mm -hmm. one, you just stunned me on here, but I can't wait to see it. <laughs> the Red Moon Podcast is now on every Tuesday night, starting at nine o'clock. You can watch the podcast live on their Facebook page and YouTube channel. For questions or to recommend a movie review, just email rmpodcast at redmoonproductions.com. Now, take a look at this week's Tinseltown trivia.